My name is Sai. Welcome to my home, Cupid's Manor. A house of illusion and endless corridors. The route you take down the maze of chambers and hallways will determine the fate of our lover's romance. Perhaps it will be a reflection of your own relationship. Will you be star-crossed lovers cursed as Romeo and Juliet? Or will you live forever in eternal bliss? All right, let's do it. If you hear any more of that squeaking noise, just go in the back and shut off the pumps for a minute. Thank you. I appreciate it. I will try and remember everything that you did. So, is this where you're going to do it? Yeah, this is where we went on our first date. Why not? I mean, everything was sigh. Uh, Zach, what? come on, man. Don't start with that shit. Look, there's no reason to ruin this ride for me and Jane. It's your choice, all right? I, I just... I just knew you and Sai were close, all right? Look, okay, he'd want me and Jamie to remember this as a fun place. Okay, all right, I got you, Scott. He and I built this together. Think you'd want me to abandon it? No. Look, Sai lives on because of this place. Did you know he was the one who had the balls enough to go into the tank, climb into a pipe, and unclog it before it overheated? I mean, they couldn't find anything? And they emptied the tank, right? You're telling me they couldn't find Sai's body? Those turbines are pretty strong. They cut someone up pretty, uh... Hey, um, come on. Let's get out of here. Let's just... Just more. Prove it. I wish we could live there. I missed you so much. I missed you too, cutie. Hey, Cameron, man. Yeah. Thanks for having Jamie's back in LA. Hey, no problem. She had to watch out for me. I almost <laughs> proposed to every guy out there. Cameron, those guys weren't good enough for you. When I see your perfect type, I'll let you know. I'm looking at my perfect type right now. <laughs> uh, Cameron, no offense, man. I'm gonna have to kick you out. I haven't seen this woman in five long weeks. We are going to be late to your parents. What? Dinner, remember? Oh, they can wait. But I wanted to get there early and take notes on how to achieve marital bliss. For two people who can't even remember what day it is, it's amazing how they can recount every single thing the other does to annoy them. All right, I'm going to see myself out. You lovebirds have fun. <laughs> see you, Cam. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Bar, get the door. Barbara, get the goddamn door. Barbara, would you get the door? Son of a bitch. I thought you were coming on Saturday. What day is it? Barb? Barb! Barb, are you alive? Barb! Tommy, if I don't answer, it's because I'm on the goddamn phone. Oh! Hey, Scotty. Oh, Jamie. What are you kids doing here? Oh, and you brought a pie. Wait a second. What day is it? Oh. How was your trip, Jamie? It was good. 
I got something for your collection. Oh, you are so sweet. Look, Tommy, look. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> I was telling Scott how much I would love for him to see it. Barb, have you seen my glasses? Tommy, why do you have to do that now? Well, I can't read the newspaper now? Come on, put it away. But I still need my glasses to see the kids across the table. Well, I don't know where you put them. You had them this morning when you were cutting out those ridiculous pictures that you're using for that cat poster that you're making. So, what are your plans today? Um, Scott was thinking about taking a ride to the... Uh... Hello, Barb. I'm blind here. I can't see who's talking. Oh, it's me, Jamie, Mr. Janet. Oh, honey, he knows exactly who's talking. Just ignore Barb, him. Barb, do you have any idea how much those glasses cost? Tommy, I swear I don't know where you put them. Now go look in the bedroom so that you can see who's talking to you. So go on, Scotty. Tell me what your plans are. Well, just got the ride up and running again, so I was going to show Jamie the changes before we open up for the season and start letting people in. Ah! Oh, Barb. Okay, let's try this again, please. Welcome to Cupid's Manor. How many people are in your party? One. One person equals to three dollars and fifty okay. cents to All right, enter. Relax. Come on. I only have a ten. Okay. Making change. Please wait. The spirits advise we need help from the great the beyond. Hell is this? Please dial M for maintenance. Really? I, I am maintenance. Maintenance has arrived. Best of luck. Sorry about that, Tommy. I'll be sure to put it away after I use it next time. Yes, well, we wouldn't want anyone to get hurt now, would we? Thank God they were in my back pocket. I told you I didn't have them. Thanks. Mm. Thank you, Scott. Sure, Dad. <laughs> oh, that's ten times better. She's so pretty. How does it get like that? Oh, honey, that's all smoke and mirrors. A big magic show. Nobody looks like that 24 Oh, I'd buy a ticket to this magic show. All right, that's enough phone time for you. Well, I'm not drunk enough to play a board game. No worries. No board games tonight. We're going to get going to the ride. Ever since Scotty's friend disappeared in that big water pit? Oh, that place creeps me yeah. out. Yeah. It's weird to think of him floating around down there in all that deep, dark pipe. Oh, Jesus, Tommy! Dad, his name was Sam. Yes, and that's a creepy name. And it doesn't help that his projection is still guiding you around that park after he's been dead for a year now. What time are you kids heading out? Tommy, what time is it? It's, a uh... Ah, jeez, Barb, god damn! You gotta let it cool first. Hmm. I just want to have my coffee. Yeah. See ya. Have a good time, kids. Thanks. Bye. Ow, Barb. My back. Presented from the Pseudical Corporation, the multi-million dollar legacy of the late Stephen Woodwinds decided not to press charges against animal rights activist Caleb. Why are you taking me to the park when it's closed? See the changes? But you told me what was changed. But you haven't seen me. But I've been to the ride like a million times. They were drug testing there. There have been unfounded reports that they have been forcible drug testing on...
place to ourselves. So you have a surprise for me? Uh, just wait. But you didn't answer the question. Is it a puppy? Yes, a puppy waiting inside. Prove it. There's the happy couple. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, hey, Zach. Great to see you. How are you? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, uh, Scott. Oh, sign up for me. Hey, yeah. Uh, how's she running? So far, so good. No scares here. Welcome to Cupid's Manor. How many people are in your party? This one's on the house, asshole. That will be $187.53. To enter. All right. You may enter and see if your relationship ends in happily ever after or something unforeseen. Each hallway leads to a different outcome, and my crystal ball tells me your ending is exactly what you deserve. Well, here we go. Are you looking for love, or have you already found it? Either way, welcome to my manor. I like the changes. Thanks. I thought the uh, flowers would be better than the chocolates. Young Arthur seems to have gotten the attention of lovely Amanda. He seems to know that all young ladies like a fresh bouquet of beautiful flowers. Let's see where this first attempt at romance leads, shall we? Wow. This looks so much better than the old scene. This was actually the most expensive because of all the new props. Seems their hearts are all a flutter. <laughs> Has Cupid's arrow hit its mark or sadly missed? Holy shit. What the hell happened? Did somebody break in? I don't know, but this is really bad. These figures are really expensive. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, but what's this I see before me? Has the cruel reaper raised his scythe to fell Amanda, our blameless rose? 
A broken-hearted shade has risen to impede our progress. <laughs> What happened to the animatronics? I don't know. Zach! Someone spent a lot of time replacing these figures with skeletons. We have to get to an emergency exit. Yo, Zach! Knock it off, okay? This is a pretty shitty joke. Hold fast, young lovebirds. Our journey will resume shortly. This isn't funny, you're gonna get us fired. Come on, let's just go. Till death do they part. I hope they can handle what's in store next. Help me dry her off. What the hell is that? Just the that? part of the ride where the fish squirts. Well, it's been altered. Shit. Shit, come on. Uh, what's happening? They desired each other's bodies so much. Did you change these lines with Sai? Yet they lost their heads, literally. No. And went a little too far. <laughs> the next emergency exit isn't until the next hall. We're not waiting just to see how real these things can get. Come on. Too soon, food for worms. Would you still kiss a withered rose? The just too far. Turn back. Stop. Jamie! Jamie! Stop! Come on, Jamie! Jamie, please! Fearful of losing your heart's desire? But there are plenty more fish in the sea. Jamie! 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 Go to the emergency exit down the hall. I'll meet you outside. Who's doing this? Go now. I'll meet you in a few minutes. OK, I'm going. Just you abandon your search for Jamie. You might not like what you find. Friendships have expiration dates, and it seems we've just cut one out of our lives. Of course, <laughs> 
Jamie? Jamie! Scott Oceanic? Yeah, that's me. I'm Officer Tucker. We comb the entire site. Did you find Jamie? Is she okay? We have our men and women still posted out there until further notice. Please, just tell me she's okay. Scott, don't worry. I'm sure they'll find Jamie. They're searching all over the grounds. I shouldn't have left her. I should have done something. Don't blame yourself. There's nothing you could do to prevent this. I'm so sorry, Scotty. Do you have any idea who could have broken into the attraction? and why they'd want to do a thing like this? Good morning, Scott. I'm sorry you decided to leave early yesterday before I could give your friend back to you. What the fuck? Don't shut off your iPod or you won't hear my very important message. Today's a very special day that I would never forget. Because not only is it your birthday, but it's also the anniversary of my death Jesus one year ago. Christ. If you're headed to the police station, please make a detour to Cupid's Manor. They don't have any news for you anyway. 
Your birthday present awaits you in the wedding reception scene in the ballroom. Which way? Oh, follow me. Stand back. Wait, somebody switched the heads on those. And then added tech. Isn't that part of the scene? No. Christ! Oh. Oh, sick. Here, let me shut it down. Is someone in that thing? Oh my god. Section C? Thank you. Is this Jamie Anderson's room? I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to wait until the doctor is finished. No, you don't understand. I'm the boyfriend. I'm sorry. No exceptions can be made. Is she okay? What are they doing? You'll have to wait. No, just let me... Let me just see you for one second, okay? Just... I'll get security! Jamie! Jamie! Jamie, it's me! I'm here! It's okay. Let him in. Mr. Oceanic? Yeah, that's me. How is she? Jamie's stable for now, which is a good sign. What? What is it? She's just starting to wake up, so you can expect some grogginess and some pain. For the time being, we have her on some morphine because of the physical alterations that have taken place. Alterations? What happened? The psychotic surgeon surgically changed the sex of your girlfriend. Why aren't her eyes open? The surgery was extensive, and it put her body into shock. The type of procedure Jamie's gone through is known as transgender reassignment surgery. That's when you have... I know what that is. How about the damage? Well, she'll pull through. But this psychotic surgeon was extremely skilled. Well, a surgical reversal will not be an option. I'm sorry. Jamie? You in there? Sorry to wake you. You should go home and get some rest. We'll keep you updated every step of the way. Here's a number for a very good counseling clinic. They can help you when no one else can. Give these to Jamie to try. 
cry on. They'll help him remember his feminine side. <laughs> Just lie back and relax. Here, honey, prop yourself up. Thanks, boys. No problem, love. Get some rest. We'll be here if you need anything. Well, this has been a weird couple of days. That's one way of putting it. I wonder what he's going to do now. What do you mean? I mean, I wonder how Scott's going to break the news to Jamie. You mean cancel the wedding? Well, yes, I think this could be a problem for a guy. So what if I were in some horrible car accident or something like that happened oh, to me? Oh, for God's sakes, Barb. Chances of something like that happening are... What would you do, Tommy? Huh? What the hell would you do? She gets some sleep. Doctor says you need time to heal. Scott, I'm scared. I'm really scared. There's no need to be scared. The police are watching the house day and night. I'm not scared of who might be coming in, but of who might be going out. Well, Tommy, what would you do in their situation? For real. We do pretty much what we do now. You mean have no sex life? Oh, for God's sakes, Barb. Things change in life. We're not newlyweds anymore. You look at me with different eyes. But not with a different heart. They're just gonna watch a movie for now. One of us can stay over tonight if you want, honey. Oh, no, that's okay, really. Okay, sweetie, okay. You call us if you need anything. Okay, Mom. Hang in there, kid. And remember, tough times don't last. Only tough people do. I know, Dad, thanks. <laughs> He got that from the movie he saw on TV last night. I bet it was with John Wayne, wasn't Leave it? Leave John huh? Wayne out of this. Would you like to explain how you're feeling about this traumatic change Jamie's undergone? Confused as hell. I mean, I can still see who she was in her eyes, but now... I understand. She's like the same person on the inside. But on the outside, she's a stranger. Yeah. Well, you're the therapist. What do you recommend? Well, Jamie could dress as a woman in public to show her gender identity. No. Look, I love Jamie, okay? That's not the problem. But now, it's like she's my best friend and not my girlfriend. So the only problem is the sex. For me, at least. I mean, I can't even imagine what she, he, is going through. Scott, do you love Jamie enough to stay with him? Her? Or does love disappear as soon as tragedy strikes? The owner of the Cupid's Manor attraction has been cooperating fully with police. Jamie, what's wrong? Do you want me to put in another movie? I don't know how Scott and I are going to be able to work this out. Scott loves you very much, Jamie. And you love him. You two will work through this and work it out. But for now, but I don't know how long he's going to be able to take it. I mean, 
He's gonna meet other women, other real women. You are a real woman, where it counts most, right between your ears. I think legions of men would argue where being a real woman counts is much further south. Those legions of men are mostly cavemen, Jamie. Scott's a little more evolved. So evolved he can ignore desire. Look, Miss Delacourt. Scott, you can call me Sabella if it makes you feel more comfortable. Okay, um, Sabella. Um, I just don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, this is unlike anything I've ever had to deal with before. It's true love put to the ultimate test. Are you up for the challenge? Hey. How's she doing? Is she feeling any better? Most of her aches and pains have stopped for now. She's sleeping. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Did you guys enjoy the movie? Scott, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course, Cameron. Are you going to stay with Jamie, even though she's physically a guy? Haven't really um, figured things out yet. It's pretty complicated and sort of overwhelming. Just lead with your heart, like you always do. You're a good friend, Cam. <laughs> okay, let's see how this shit ends. You still have the same bad taste no, no, in no, no, movies. No, 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 I'm so sick of this Luckily, shit. Luckily, I have a movie that's much better. One that your friend will star in. Just leave me Did alone. Did you ever truly love me, Scott? Unless you want the whole state to be playing this masterpiece on the 6 o'clock news, I suggest you do as you're told. Drive to the ride, to the last scene in the cemetery at the main mausoleum. If you bring anyone with you, Cameron will end up like Zack. I promise you that. It'll be like old times, Scott. What do you think? Scott? I'm here, Sai. Come on out. No more hiding. At last, you have arrived at the end of our romantic journey. Sorry, why are Arthur you doing this? Just come out now. Already. Relinquished mortal flesh. Program halt. Resetting for override projection display. I've been keeping an eye on you, Scott, as you can see. Funny how quickly new love makes you forget about those who have departed this earth. I've been dead just a year, and not once did you visit my grave. As I said, I've been watching. Just to show that I keep my word, here's a live feed of your friend Cameron entering his house. He will be executed immediately if you disobey any instructions. But where are my manners, Scott? Thank you for coming. You see the screen in front of you, correct? I will ask you two simple questions. You may answer yes or no 
If you answer the questions honestly... Quit this bullshit and just come out here. You may leave, and Cameron will remain unharmed. If you answer what? falsely, you will get an additional question as punishment for your dishonesty. Eat me, Sai. Let's begin. Question one. Are you still in love with Jamie? Yes. You have answered yes. Thank you for your honesty, Scott. Question two. Can you be physically intimate with Jamie? Yes. You were doing so well, Scott. I don't know why you started lying to me. Because now you have to answer an extra question. Go to the crypt. Shut the door behind you. Make a left down the tunnel. Your next question awaits. Hello, Scott. Please handcuff yourself to the steel bar bolted to the ground. You will answer this final question for your previous dishonesty. You've been seeing a therapist lately. Are you starting to have feelings for her that overrule your love for Jamie? If you do not answer within the next 10 seconds, you will get another surprise. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, just... 5, 4, 3. Yes! Thank you for your honesty, Scott. Below the skull next to you is a key for your release. Have a good night, Scott, and get home safe.
Jamie. Jamie, you up here? No, Jamie. It's not what it looks like, okay? Those aren't my therapists. Jamie? You in the bathroom? Jamie, open up. Jamie, answer the door. scared the hell out of me. You don't know what hell is, Scott. Then talk to me, Jamie. What's the point? We're drifting apart. You're depressed. I get it, but you need to talk to someone if you're not going to talk to me. Maybe a therapist. Maybe yours? No. I think she only wants one client, Scott. Nothing happened between us, okay? I just go to her because because what? Because you need help dealing with a mutilated freak like me? Jamie! I'm not blind. I've stuck with you all along, and I always will. What more do you need from me? I just really need to know, Jamie. I need you to look at me like you did before the hospital. I do. I need you to be proud when we go out together. I am. I don't want to feel like a burden you have to keep a promise to. You're not. Are you really still in love with me? I need to know, Scott. I really do. Or this isn't going to work out. I just... I just need... Can you see past this? Can we be more than friends? I love you, Jamie. But are you in love with me? Jamie. Can you be attracted to me? As I am now? No. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm just not attracted to her in a man's body, but I still see and feel Jamie in it. It's much kinder to make a decision as soon as you can. The longer you stretch this out, the more painful it's gonna be for the both of you. No, I know, but I love her. <sighs> it's not going to change, Scott. You are who you are. You can't force yourself to be attracted to her. I know. I apologize for calling you at home and asking you how to eat, but I feel like I can read people pretty well, and I feel like I sensed. It's that obvious, huh? <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to refer you to another therapist. Then maybe we can get to know each other? It all depends on what happens with you and Jamie. Scott, I want what's best for you. I think you know what you have to do. No, I don't know what to do. You have to ask yourself if you can stay with her in the present because of a time you shared with her in the past. My parents met when they were in high school, 30 years ago. And they stayed together even though everyone around them thought it was impossible. That's true love. Are they happy, Scott? Or are they trapped by the memories that they have from the past?
I like the dress. Thanks. I found it in my... your closet. Jamie. Look, I'm so sorry. I can try and work through this. You shouldn't have to. It shouldn't be a task to kiss your partner. You don't have to leave. I just need time to adjust. It's one hell of an adjustment. Couples go through problems all the time, okay? Really hard ones. Yes, the situation is more extreme, but did you think we'd just get married and be happily ever after? No, of course not. But this is different, Scott. I mean, you don't even want to lay a finger on me. I mean, right now you don't look like a guy. Prove it. Hello? Oh, I can hear a little buddy. Let me help you. Oh. I'm sorry, I, I need to stop. Um small steps. I understand. You don't have to apologize. It's just, um, that's something to get used to. <clears throat> Believe me, nobody understands that better than me. Hey, um, I'm just gonna go outside and get some air, clear my head. Wait, Scott, where are you going? Scott, are you okay? What's wrong? Scott, this is so unlike you. Aren't you going to tell me why you're here? Can I have a drink? Yeah, of course. I'm assuming you tried to. Couldn't have. Maybe it's time to move on. Easier said. You can always be friends. Mm hmm. That would never work. I'm sorry, Scott. Not your fault for telling the truth. You've been really nice. still have the same bad taste in movies. Luckily, I have a movie that's much better. One that your friend will star in. Unless you want the whole state to be playing this masterpiece on the six o'clock news, I suggest you do as you're told. I mean, I thought you were so good looking, but I couldn't say a word because you were my patient. Phone call alone could have gotten me fired. 
feel like I've known you forever. Really? Yeah, I just feel at ease with you. Like, this is natural. It's how it should be. You've had such a hard go of it. Scott, you can't force yourself to be something you're not. I just want a normal life. You can. We can. Together. We could be great together. I just... I just feel so damn guilty. But you don't have to. It's not your fault what happened. Just be yourself. And relax. Did you ever truly love me, Scott? Drive to the ride. To the last scene in the cemetery. It'll be like old times, Scott. What do you think? back as soon as you get this. You know that bra? Well, I think it was given to you by the same person that gave you your favorite shirt. Scott, what's wrong? I can't believe this. Believe it, baby. 911, state the nature of your emergency. My boyfriend's in trouble. He's been tricked by that mutilating psychopath that's been all over the news lately. You know, the one you haven't caught yet? All right, ma'am. Now, what is your name? Jamie Anderson. And your boyfriend's name? Scott Oceanic. He was just in your station a few days ago when I went missing. Hold on. Let me get my supervisor. <sighs> yes, can I help? Oh, thank you for coming in so quickly. I heard you found my abductor. Savella, I'm sorry. I have to stop. You haven't even given us a chance to begin. Look, you're really beautiful and giving, but I can't do this, okay? I can't stop thinking about Jamie. And that's not fair to either. It's more likely we've lost your confidence because of Jamie. And because of that, you can't perform. Oh, close. Impotence is a fact of performance anxiety. I can't believe I didn't see this before. You've been manipulating me for selfish reasons from the very beginning. You know, I can't believe I fell for this. I'd have your license with me. What license, sweetie? Cameron, my God, that's him. It's him. We found him in Cupid's Manor with a suicide note, admitting to your mutilation and the death of Zach Moritz. No, that's, that's impossible. I've known Cameron for years and he wouldn't hurt a fly. But he didn't even have the surgical skills to pull it off. In the confession letter, it states that he had a crush on Scott for many years and was jealous that you took him away. That's total bullshit. Scott wasn't even Cameron's type. Well, apparently, if he couldn't have Scott, and you couldn't either. It's a cruel thing what he did to you. No, that's that's all wrong. Maybe it was another gay friend that had a crush on Scott. Get to explain? I let me show you something. 
I'm not so sure the real killer ever died. have to come with me immediately. Scott's in trouble. What happened? He's not answering his phone, and he's off with that therapist. Well, it was just a question of time before something like this happened. Look, you guys can still be friends, but obviously a lot has changed. No, that's not it. Sabella, this therapist, is not who she claims to be. What makes you think that? Someone's been following Scott and sending him messages about my surgery. Okay, I think I've heard about enough of this. Who would be doing this to him? Why? I think Sai's not dead and is using Sabella to get to Scott and get him all to himself. All right, I'm gonna need you to stop right there. Look, I know you've been through a lot, and I know it's normal to be jealous of a new girlfriend. You're missing the point. Sai's body was never found, and he was in love with Scott. Enough! It's time for you to move on with your own life. Sai's not dead. Let me play his message. Don't worry, honey. We're almost there. Wait, did you show this to the police? Yeah, and once they analyze it, they'll get back to me. You know, that could have been filmed before Sai's death. Uh, Lord knows why. He wasn't exactly the boy next door. Tommy, I'm really concerned that Scott suddenly isn't answering his phone and is getting messages from someone who supposedly died a year ago, aren't you? Why would any of this be true? Why would Sai want to hurt Scott so much if he loves him? Because Sai didn't get to spend much time with Scott once he and I got together. And if Sai can't have him, then nobody could. Exactly. I don't have all this figured out. But I know Scott's in trouble because everyone connected to him is either dead or maimed. They never did find Sai's body, Tommy. I want to find him now. Wait a minute. Barb! Wait. Oh, it's really starting to piss me off. What? Wait. Bar! Jesus Christ, are you kidding? Where to next? Go down that road, it's the fastest. 33 years of marriage, and now she becomes an adventurous. over there. I don't see Scott's car. For God's sake, what's gotten into you? Bar! Tommy, I'm really worried. Please help us look. Come on. Why are you doing this? Where, where's Sai? I want to talk to Sai. Sweetheart, I'm sure he's in here somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> Get off! We're 
going in. This is getting out of hand, Lord. What's the harm in looking? Because we are trespassing on private property. I'll take that chance to save Scott's life. You did this to Jamie and Zach, right? Here, didn't you? You know, I gave you a fair chance, Scott. What are you doing with that? I went through a lot of trouble to get your attention. What? Tell me. If someone was crazy enough to do this to me, why would it be so hard to believe it could happen to Scott? What's going on here? Tommy, trust me. I don't want to take that chance. Hey! Tommy, trust me. Please. Go, go. Be very careful. We'll see what we can do here. Good evening. This is a coincidence. Why are you here? I saw the cars. Thought I could be of some help. We're fine. Thanks. Why are you here? And why did someone just go down to that ride? So hung up on what's between someone's legs. Well, what happens when you lose what's between yours? Was that Jamie that just went down to that ride? Why are you so interested? And why are you still here? You said it was a coincidence we met. I don't believe in coincidences. Sigh, Sabella. How could you not put it together? That's impossible. You died. No. I went through a metamorphosis all for you. And once again, you rejected me. They all know it's you, Sai. I went to the police. <laughs> but you didn't know who I was till two seconds ago. They can put two and two together with what I've given them. By that time, it'll be way too late. By that time, you'll be dead. Dr. Jonas didn't do so bad on you after all. Pity I have to destroy you. Is that good or bad? Oh, I think it's all downhill from here. Excuse me, but you can't be. I'm going in. I'm right behind you, babe. Emergency. 
Emergency. Please move to the nearest exit. Several malfunctions have been detected within the facility. can't go down there. We don't have a choice, Scott. No, it's too dark. We'll drown. We can't get out. We can get through it. This is a different room. I don't know if I can get the bottom. Okay? Switch to short it out. You have to trust me, Scott. We can get through this. Prove it. Okay. On three. Ready? One, two, three.
Dr. Jonas did the surgery on Jamie. And for what? Sex with Sabella? Tommy, you are so brave. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I really hurt my hand. Well, you did have a six inch blade go through your hand. Well, better my hand than Scott's. Oh. I hate to even think about someone messing around down there. No, you can't. But Jamie can. Yes. Yes what? Yes, I would still love you, even if you got turned inside out. I think I'll stick with you. Even if you do have a bum hand for a bit. <sighs> do you think that he really does love Jamie enough to cope with this? Well, Marv, it's like I always say. Tough times don't last. Only tough people do. 